Hey, what's going on, guys? It is I, Sly Cooper 8, also known as Steve, and we are moving on to the Civil War box, to Captain America Civil War, which I had planned on actually prepping a video for this before seeing the movie, but I've already seen the movie. Um, probably by now it'll be released on DVD, or it might be a couple of weeks after it's out of the theater, whichever, by the time that this video gets put in there, but I will tell you guys, I enjoyed the video. Um, if we do a YouTuber's Core Roundtable thing, you'll probably see that there and have to see that be promoted. But anyway, guys, let's get into this box. This box greatly intrigued me, and also what was really cool with this box, which I had already put it in my work bag because I thought that it was cool. Let me find it. Um, was that Marvel Collector Core is probably going to start putting all their, like, product information and all that stuff, and also showing previous boxes, and next month's, which is June's, yeah, which is June's, which I'm very excited for, is the Women of Power box. I'm excited. Just because, you know, I, I love that, love the fact that Marvel Collector Corps is going to be showing some love to the you know, female side of the Marvel Universe, we don't really get to see the ladies highlighted that much. Um, I've already seen people on various collector core and, you know, pop vinyl collection sites saying they don't want a Squirrel Girl pop. I say, flip them the bird, I want a Squirrel Girl pop. And, and Tippy Toe better be in it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying with that. Or like Masked, you know, Captain Marvel, you know, Masked Carol. Oh, that's at the bottom. Okay. Also, gotta love the artwork. I really do. I think that's cool. Also, I love the interior art for this as well because it's still Civil War themed and you get to see all the characters. So, love that. Um, the pen is Black Panther. And, of course, Crossbones. Um, the most overhyped villain of that entire movie. And the only part that really disappointed me. But, you guys can see the movie if you haven't already. Or, you know, those that have already seen the movie, which is probably way past now, will know what I'm talking about. But, anyway... So, got that. Now let's open up the box and look inside. And the first thing that we got, guys, is the t-shirt. Um, which, to be quite honest with you guys, I probably should have wore this when I went to go see the movie because I love it. Um, but I didn't actually think about it. I just wanted to throw on clothes and I just wanted to head over to the mall that day. Probably should have wore this, but it's still cool, guys, which is, it's the lineups for Team Cap and Team Iron Man, and they're all done in pop vinyl style, which would help if I move my finger. So, I dug that. I really did. And it says, you know, whose side are you on? Um, I really dug that. I really did. Because I thought that that was thought that was so cute. I thought it was a cute little shirt that everybody that everybody would probably wear. I probably should have wore it, but then again, I was like one of like maybe two or three people in the theater, so probably a good thing. Would have been a waste. Um, Marvel Collector Core variant cover, which is, of course, Black Panther. I'm not going to lie. I love that cover. I think that... I think that's such a cool variant edition cover for for Black Panther. Now this one intrigued me, which it's a Captain America and you know Iron Man, little like you know little lanyard, little little lanyard, you know strip, little like key holder, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's something new, something different, not 
quite my most favorite item in this in this entire box, but I'll I'll take it. I thought it was cute. Um, an exclusive, obviously for a Marvel collector core, which is a dwarf figure. Um, lots of little, you know, Civil War, you know, dwarf characters. And this one is an exclusive because it is actually um, mask up or helmeted up Tony. So a little dwarf character of, you know, unmasked, you know, Iron Man or helmet up Iron Man. Um, definitely cool, definitely cute. Now, from what Funko said with that clip strip thing that I showed you guys where they're showing like all the different things, um, they originally were going to actually have a Sam Wilson Captain America Funko character to promote Civil War II, the comic event. But what they rather wanted to do exclusively for Comic Bento just to hype the movie up a little bit more, and I'm looking for a moment here at all these characters looking at which ones I'd want to build my own little like you know Avengers set with okay and it's actually a two-pack which I'm sure you guys can probably tell um, you can pose these characters or you can just like have them be separate um, I probably if somebody didn't try to supercharge them, which I have a feeling that they would, I probably would buy extras. Um, but it's a two-pack of Steve and Tony. And what's very interesting is you can pose these exactly like how they look, which is Steve putting his shield up and Tony looking like he's going to blast Steve. So I... I I like that. I dig that. I think that that's kind of actually cool. You know, so Iron Man and Captain America 2 pack. You know, exclusive to exclusive to the Civil War pack. You know, this I actually dig this, guys. I really do. I think that that's cool, you know, a nice little Funko 2 pack, nice little, you know, dwarf figure of unmasked Tony. Little lanyard. Um, an exclusive comic. And a little Civil War t shirt, which I'm going to put that just back in the box. Because um, I got enough shirts pretty much out. I actually need to go through some of my shirts and see which ones I'm going to keep and or get rid of not just from mystery boxes but from just in general little spring cleaning so anyway guys that has been the Captain America Civil War box a um, little shorter than I anticipated I thought it'd be at least like 10 minutes or so but that's pretty much everything in the box guys I mean two-pack Funko character of Steve and Tony that you can pose, make it look like they fought each other, little lanyard, little dwarf figure, exclusive variant of Black, you know, variant cover of Black Panther, a cool little, like, you know, t-shirt. Oh, excuse me. Not bad. Not a bad box. I did not, I, I can partly approve of this one. So anyway, guys, with that, that is the Mo the Captain America Civil War box. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed, you know, reviewing it. And, of course, keep in mind, June will be the Women of Power um, box, which I'm excited to get into that. I'm hoping that it's a lot of cool, like, you know, goodies. Although it's kind of funny because I read on the forums everybody like, oh, I don't want a female character t-shirt, especially especially if it's got like, you know, Captain Marvel or like Gwen Stacy. I look at that and I'm like, I will rock my, I will rock my female hero t-shirt. I don't care if it's A-Force, I'm rocking it. 
Yeah. I'm all for the ladies, both creators and, you know, characters in comics. You know, not because I'm a feminist and not because, you know, I'm, you know, butt kissing, but genuinely because everybody deserves to play in the sandbox, fictional or non fictional. You know, I'm a humanist, in case you guys haven't noticed. But anyway, guys, also I forgot to timestamp this, guys. It is now 9.38, 9.39, and it is, of course, still May the 15th, so it's still Friday the 13th. Um, like I said, I'm doing these kind of back-to-back-to-back, so I will timestamp these still, but um, they will all be, you know, 5.13. So with that, guys... I will now actually officially end this, even though I've said five, six times that I am. But that is the you know Marvel Collector Core Captain America Civil War box. So let's move on to the Legion of Collectors DC TV box.